Please choose what skills to inherit. Hello, hello. Welcome to this video where I showcase a few of the personas that I used in order to breeze through the mid to late game of Persona 3 Reload. Alright, to put it simply, these builds rely heavily on stacking crit rate boosting abilities such as crit rate boost, crit rate amp, and amp pupil together with physical attack boosting abilities in order to deal massive amounts of damage. First up is our big boy, Gire Mekala. He's of the Moon Arcana and you can fuse him at level 39. I fused together Osei and Eligor in order to inherit Deathbound. I pretty much chose this guy because he has high strength and later on learns Repel Slash, which can be inherited by other personas as well. Give him Deathbound and Slash Boost or maybe Strike Boost because he learns Heat Wave at level 42 and he's pretty much good to go. Now, trying this guy out for the first time, I was pretty surprised to see the results. You'll soon realize that crit rate stacking is pretty damn absurd. Oh yeah, and I guess it's also important to note that the physical boosting skill cards can be obtained through shuffle time in Tartarus. So these include Strike Boost, Pierce Boost, and Slash Boost. On the other hand, the crit rate boosting skill cards can be obtained by trading in items at the antique shop. Not gonna lie though, even on merciless difficulty, these personas make the game quite easy. You can pretty much steamroll through Tartarus fights and even full moon operations. As you can see, Giri Mikala is an absolute beast of a persona. If you're not one-shotting waves of shadows with heat wave or death bound, you're still going to end up stacking multiple turns on them with critical hits. And of course I didn't forget to showcase the boss fights. Alright, buff up with Aegis. And then we go for a guaranteed crit maybe? Yup. Oh nah, no need for an all-out attack, Fuka. We got Deathbound. Boom, double crit. Alright, how to get the damage trophy in 5 steps. Step 1, debuff the boss's defense. Step 2, charge up on MC. Step 3, let teammates cook. What to do? Step 4, buff crit rate. And also buff your attack. Here I use Mitsuru with a fierce sutra. And lastly, profit. But that's not all there is to this build. We can easily improve it, right? Well, let me introduce you to Giri Mekala 2.0. This is Siegfried, pretty much a better version of Giri Mekala in all aspects. He naturally learns Crit Rate Amp and Brave Blade, which has the second highest crit rate in the game, second only to Heaven's Blade and Masquerade. Plus, the build that I went with has no weaknesses. Normally, Siegfried is weak to Dark, but I was able to get access to resist dark by leveling up Anubis to level 45. This is the final build that I went with. Deathbound, Brave Blade, Charge, Resist Dark, App Pupil, Crit Rate Boost, Crit Rate Amp, and Slash Amp. Now you could also slot in Slash Boost in there if you need a bit more damage. Also, have a persona with all the auto buffs. That means Auto Taru Kaja, Raku Kaja, and Suku Kaja as well as Auto Rebellion. Ideally, you want this to be a persona with high agility. In my case, I used Kurama Tengu. Now, there's not much else to say about this persona, except that if your enemies don't resist slash attacks, this thing will mow them down. Siegfried is a mean green critting machine. Well, he's not really green, but he's a critting machine. He also has a theurgy with Mithras called Scarlet Havoc. This lets him do severe slash damage to all foes. Time for some boss fights. 
Now Jin is already on the floor in this clip, but he went down pretty much the same way as Takaya did. Now this fight wasn't hard to begin with, but having a Siegfried with no weaknesses really just made these guys a joke. See what I mean? And now we got the helicopter boss. For this boss, a few attacks was more than enough to take it down, believe it or not. I'll let you see for yourself. Yeah, a few third Gs and one Brave Blade crit was enough, and uh, Mitsuru gets the finishing blow. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the video I guess. So, Giri Mikala, Siegfried, pretty damn strong personas that can carry you. Try them out if you haven't already. Also, let me know if you guys used other powerhouse personas, or maybe you guys used the same ones I did. Anyways, that's all for now. Hope you guys found the video useful. If you made it this far into the video, hopefully you can consider leaving a like, thank you very much. And with that said, I will see you. Bye-bye.